The Gabriella Page Award for Outstanding Preservation Project. Cabin Renovations at Virginia State Parks. PMA Architecture, Steam and Peace Architecture, and Timmons Group, working with the Department of Conservation and Recreation, undertook the renovation of camping cabins in historic Douthat State Park and Fairystone State Park. The two state parks were built in the 1930s as part of a nationwide effort to provide access to nature and the wilderness, enabled by the automobile. The cabins in each park are located within historic districts, included in the listing on the National Register of Historic Places and the Virginia Landmarks Register. Renovations to the original log cabins in each park provided new roofing and repairs to, to deteriorated siding, eaves, and log wall construction to address long-term maintenance needs. The completed project revealed original, primitive, and historic features while offering modern amenities to families vacationing in these parks. The restoration of the Warm Springs Pools. Three North, 1200 AE Structural Engineers, and Lineberger Construction. Located in the tranquil mountains of Bath County and now owned and operated by the Omni Homestead Resort, the Warm Springs Pools have attracted a devoted following for more than 250 years. Since the first structure's construction in 1838, the combination of wooden building materials and hot, humid, and steaming air have created a maintenance challenge. Three North and their team utilized reports and history sourced by the community to bolster their own research and analysis of the structures. They documented the evolution of the gentleman's bath, the ladies' bath, and the reception house, and guided an effort focused on three principles. Retain as much of the historic fabric as possible, respect the history, and ensure visitor safety and accessibility. The project took full advantage of opportunities to improve on earlier renovations, including recreating the original elegant domed roof of the 1875 Ladies Bath. In the quest for authenticity, the project restored the site's historic name, Warm Springs Pools. Historic Fire Station Number 1, Old School Partners 2 LLC, and Hill Studio. Historic Fire Station Number 1 served the Roanoke community for more than 100 years. Closed and vacant for a decade, Old School Partners purchased the landmark building in 2019 and undertook a renovation to return the site to public use. Investing almost $3 million and utilizing state and federal historic tax credits, the team carefully preserved the interior and exterior of the building, including the character-defining plan elements. The team's sensitive approach retained historic features while accommodating new uses and meeting building code requirements. Old School Partners donated a preservation easement to the Virginia Historic Resources Board to ensure protection of this local landmark into the future. Today, Fire Station No. 1 hosts a boutique hotel, as well as retail and event space that fires the imagination of locals and visitors alike. The Catherine Glaze Rockwood Community Preservation Award, AMMD Pine Grove Project, Pine Grove Elementary School was completed in 1917 as part of a system of schools conceived by Booker T. Washington and supported through the philanthropy of Julius Rosenwald. Though the school closed in 1964, the lessons of persistence and dedication remained in the hearts and minds of its alumni. Upon hearing of a tax sale, the A.G. Miller Mayo Dungy Family Association formed the AMMD Pine Grove Project to save the structure. In 2018, another threat emerged, the construction of a mega landfill adjacent to the school and historic community. Muriel Branch and the leadership of the AMMD Pine Grove Project worked tirelessly to gather a coalition to advocate for the protection and restoration of the school and its community. Pine Grove Elementary School was included on the 2021 list of America's 11 Most Endangered Historic Places and was recently awarded a National Park Service African American Civil Rights Grant. Without hesitation, the leadership of AMMD Pine Grove Project is willing to share their experiences to strengthen communities preserving African American historic places in Virginia. Capital Region Land Conservancy. Capital Region Land Conservancy is the only land trust in central Virginia 
devoted to the conservation of the region's natural and historic resources. CRLC has garnered an impressive record of protecting sites, including nearly 900 acres at Malvern Hill and properties within the viewshed of Libby Hill, known as the view that named Richmond. Since 2017, CRLC has worked in Henrico County to protect New Market Heights Battlefield, the site of a significant victory by United States colored troops during the American Civil War. Through a mix of conservation easements, land donations, and purchases, CRLC has protected more than 428 acres of this historic and scenic landscape and continues its efforts to conserve additional land and ensure public access and interpretation of this important battlefield. Green Cove Station Train Depot In the early 1910s, the Virginia Creeper Railroad linked communities in far southwest Virginia and North Carolina. Today, the Green Cove Station in Damascus is the last remaining depot. In fall 2022, the U.S. Forest Service's George Washington and Jefferson National Forest engaged Historic Corps to complete an exterior rehabilitation project. After an assessment, the team developed a treatment plan following the Secretary of Interior's standards. The rehabilitation addressed paint, cladding, wooden windows, doorways, and trim, as well as an assessment and minor repair of the gutters and porch roofing system. In a series of five-day work sessions, Historic Corps field staff engaged volunteers in hands-on skill-building workshops to sand, prime, and paint the 16 by 60 foot wooden frame structure. The successful rehabilitation of Green Cove Train Depot exemplifies the dedication of the U.S. Forestry Service, George Washington, and Jefferson National Forest to preserve historic properties with a commitment to finding creative opportunities to engage individuals in historic preservation. The Lewis J. Malin Award for Outstanding Preservation Achievement. Carl Espy IV has been a consistent voice for preserving Halifax's historic character and assets. In his capacity as town manager, Mr. Espy encouraged the preservation of historic properties by providing community members with access to tools, resources, and mentoring. He's a collaborator, a visionary, and a pragmatist. He views historic preservation and historic places as vital to the health of communities. In doing so, he supported the expansion of the Mountain Road Historic District and pursued funding to repair, rehabilitate, and interpret elements of Kingsbridge Landing, where General Nathaniel Green crossed during the Revolutionary War. He is a life member of the Halifax County Historical Society and volunteers extensively in the community. Rick and Susan Humphreys Rick and Susan Humphreys have an incredible track record for preserving history in Southwest Virginia. They've consulted on numerous projects, worked with David and Jill Dalton to help save the Hiram Dooley House from demolition just this last year, and encouraged a partnership between the Town of Abington and the National Park Service to preserve the Abington Muster Grounds. They utilized historic tax credits to save the 1834 Austin Brana House, which needed considerable restoration and also preserved the 1840s Sando House, now known as a Taylor's Lodging. They've helped instill a preservation ethic in Abington and continue to serve as ambassadors for Southwest Virginia and the Commonwealth, making the case for why historic preservation is vital to the health of communities. The George W. G. Stoner and Melville Jennings Research and Education Award for Outstanding Historic Preservation Research. Anna Edwards. As a public historian living and working in Richmond, Virginia, Anna Edwards has brought her skills and expertise to support a number of efforts, including the East Marshall Street Well Project, Shaco Hill African Burying Ground, Richmond's past planning committee for the sesquicentennial of the Civil War and Emancipation, and as president of the Virginia Friends of Mali, an education and cultural engagement organization. Her work has been distinguished by her two decades long commitment to the Sacred Ground Historical Reclamation Project, an initiative of the Virginia Defenders for Freedom, Justice, and Equality. Her leadership was instrumental in reclaiming Richmond's African burying ground in Shaku Bottom and supporting the descendant-led engagement to envision a nine-acre memorial park. 
Anna Edwards regularly gives presentations and walking tours focused on Gabriel's Rebellion and the history of the domestic slave trade in Richmond. The Trustees' Excellence in Achievement Award Thomas Jefferson's Poplar Forest In 1983, the corporation of Thomas Jefferson's Poplar Forest was established with the ambitious goal of owning and restoring Jefferson's retreat. The result? Jefferson-era buildings were restored, more than 600 acres of the original property were acquired, and a new entrance and trail system were completed. Steady and diligent archaeological excavations revealed new insights into the experiences of enslaved individuals. Vibrant and innovative educational programs engage learners of all ages, near and far. Today, Thomas Jefferson's Poplar Forest is a place where curiosity is central to connecting Jefferson and the free and enslaved individuals of Poplar Forest to the concerns and hopes for America's future. <laughs>